beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel how are you doing i hope you're doing great and if you're new welcome so i need to do my nails asap and i honestly don't know what i want to do <laughs> i don't know if i want to take them off i don't know if i want to do an infill i don't know what design i don't know what color i don't know nothing <laughs> so i thought it would be interesting to do a random generator picks my nails it's gonna pick everything for me it's gonna pick what style i do what colors i do um if they're gonna be long short or medium if i'm gonna take them off and just do a natural nail with gel polish everything it's gonna pick everything for me and to keep it interesting what i decided to do is in every category i'm gonna add stuff that i like and stuff that I don't like like for instance for example when it's gonna choose my colors I'm gonna add colors that I like and colors that I don't like orange I don't really like orange or hot pink to keep it interesting so let's get started okay so I got the list right here natural nails which means I'm gonna take everything off and just work on my natural nails acrylic nails which I haven't done in a long time builder gel poly gel nails or jelly tips jelly tips <laughs> so the ones that i have are from cuccio the coffin shaped ones and the builder so i added short medium long and extra long and if you know me or have been watching my videos for a while, you know that I can't handle long or extra long nails. I'm just too clumsy. I can't do it. I can't work with it. So I'm hoping for medium or maybe short. Let's see. Yay, medium. Okay, so for color, I have the list right here. Red, I don't particularly like on my nails. Black, you know I love black. Neutral colors, I don't mind. Yellow, I don't particularly like on my nails. Purple and gray and blue, I love. And orange, I'm not so thrilled about. Yellow, no! I don't like yellow. I don't like how yellow looks on my skin i don't know why so for decoration this is my list and i'm gonna add another one which is plain just nothing on it no design or anything just plain so this is everything i added for decoration i added glitter stickers 3d acrylic plain which means nothing on it just a gel polish rhinestones nail art and foils let's see Okay, so now I have to take these off so I can start working with the jelly tips. I'll be right back. All right, I took them off and now I'm just gonna push back my cuticles. I'm gonna file the surface a little bit. I'm gonna pick my sizes and I'll be right back. These are my sizes. I wanna file the edges a little bit because they overlap my nail and they go over my skin. I'm gonna file inside here a little bit so the gel can adhere better. So now I'm going to go ahead and add the builder gel on my natural nails, a thin layer. I'm going 
to press down to eliminate the air bubbles and cure in the lamp. Perfect, no air bubbles at all. Awesome! So what I'm going to do now is speed through the rest if you want an in-depth on how to apply jelly tips. With the Builder Gel, I did a video using this brand for the first time. And I'm going to link it somewhere in the screen at the end of the video and in the description box in case you're interested in watching it. This is what they look like, all perfectly cured. For me, this size would be extra long. I know each person is going to have their own opinion about it, it's personal preference. Some people may look at these and think they're medium size or just long. For me, they're extra long. So long for me would be maybe there. Long for me would be there. For some people that they consider that medium. But for me it's still long. So I'm gonna cut a little bit more. These are medium for me. I'm gonna file them a little bit to shape them. I'm going to file this that is spilled a little bit of the gel. I'm going to file the surface and I'll be right back. Okay, so everything is done. The generator chose yellow and I got this one, 1266 from Snow Dream. It's a gel polish. And it looks like this. Again, it's beautiful. Very beautiful. but on me i don't like the way yellow looks on me <laughs> so let's go ahead and paint them i have no choice Right, I did the second coat and this is how they look. <laughs> I keep laughing because I keep staring at them. I'm not used to it. <laughs> so the generator chose nail art. So what I'm going to do is I'm I have to add black into this. I'm going to be using this gel paint from Alley Nails by Alexandra. She's on Instagram and I bought a couple of gel paints super affordable and very good quality i'm going to be using this black and i'm going to be using this tiny little brush right here this is from it's a kolinsky double zero 
I don't remember when or where I bought this, but this is really, really good for detailing and for being really precise. It's amazing. And then this one that's been with me for I don't know how long <laughs> you could tell it is busted but it's by V rush pen nail art.com super good quality so I'm gonna be using those two brushes and I'm gonna do something simple and I don't know when this video is gonna go up but it's not Valentine's Day yet so I'm gonna do something with hearts so I don't know if this is gonna go up before Valentine's Day or after I'm gonna try to put it before Hopefully I don't get out of frame. I'm gonna switch to this one. do a small one over here I'm gonna pop that in the lamp for a minute. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a V-shaped French here. Gonna cure that and I'll be right back.
So I added two lines on this one and I added a little border to this design. I used Madame Glam's top coat, which I love, it's my favorite. It's super, super shiny. And I have a discount code with them. In case you're interested, you can save 30% off. I'm gonna link the website down below with the code in case you're interested. And this is how they look. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. And I would love to see everyone. I tag everyone in this challenge. I really want to see what people come up with. And if you do decide to do this challenge, then tag me so I can see it. I really want to see what you come up with. Or at least what the generator chooses for you. So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it. If you do, don't forget to subscribe. Hit the like button. That helps me out a lot. And I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.